Yes, as, as you said, we at uh, the UN, we are observers, but we work with the countries. We have been uh, working with the countries, explaining to them how important it is that they reach an agreement and how urgent is they reach an agreement on the rule book it, which will give the guidelines how we'll be implementing the Paris ag Agreement by 2020. This is really uh, a survival question in, in our view and is important because if we don't reach an agreement we'll not be able to monitor uh, the Paris Agreement and the climate is changing. The climate is not waiting for the negotiators here and the, the, the sense of urgency is very important for us to move forward. Yes, we have been advocating for the importance of bringing agriculture and food security to the climate debate. It has been a long journey, but we are happy. In Paris, food security was in the preamble of the, the agreement and in Bonn we had the Coronive joint work on agriculture which brought agriculture sectors to the climate discussion. Now the challenge we have and how we help the countries to implement the Coronive discussion in this we have been having uh, meetings and workshop training the negotiators because agriculture sectors is something new to them Many of them are coming from the Minister of Foreign Affairs. They are not technicians. We are working with the countries, helping them to include climate uh, and agriculture in their national determined contribution. Yes, look, in our the sector of food and agriculture, we just released our report on food security and nutrition which shows that for three years hunger has been uh, increasing. Why and what are the drivers of that? One of the drivers is climate change, climate variability. Also, we have uh, conflicts and economic slowdown. The IPPC report tells us that if we keep business as usual, we'll be having by 2030 one, around 120 million poor again or more. This shows that in the sector we are working, eradicating hunger and poverty cannot be possible if we don't have climate action. And this for us is very important. Then, how the countries has to increase and to include climate agriculture solutions in a way that they are more resilient, that they will be having less poor, less farmers, uh, more farmers resilience to climate in a way that we can increase production. We have less people suffering from hunger and malnutrition when you see our ambition by 2030 is to eradicate hunger and poverty. If we don't have these two agenda linked, the climate agenda and the sustainable development agenda, we can, it's a problem of survival. The, that's the reason why the urgency is very important.